Working with roofs here at ChiefTutor.com. Hey guys, this is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. And uh, I got a submission here from a client who wanted to fix his roof. And uh, I did a video previously to show him how to do it, but I wanted to re record it because the, the volume on it was terrible and it turned out, you know, just hard to hear and hard to listen to. So I thought I'd clean it up and do it one more time uh, just to show the entire gang. If you're having trouble creating special type of gable roofs uh, or even hip roofs, uh, we're going to walk you through that. So basically he had a plan very similar to this that he wanted to copy this part, but he doesn't really need the shed roof. So that's what we're going to do. And the plan is right here. So actually, you know what we should probably do is copy this picture first. So I'm going to use the print screen function on the keyboard and what I'll do is click alt to select just this window and uh, I hit print screen on my keyboard and now I've just copied this page and so what I can do now is I could start a new plan and I could just say edit paste and it'll paste it as a picture click OK pretty neat huh so then I just do this tile vertically and that way I could zoom in on this area so we have the house while we're working on the house. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is take a look at the house and the condition that it's in so I kind of understand what the shape is. So I see here he started the roofs and he's done a really good job actually. He just needs to connect here, finish up the wall, and then create the, uh, this gable attic wall over here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to close this window. I'm going to go back to the 3D view here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the plan first. So while I'm working on the roofs here, that all this extra clutter doesn't get in the way. It's really important when you're drawing a plan is to use these layer sets to help you so it can increase the productivity of what you're drawing. So when you're trying to manipulate these roofs and you want to select on a roof, you end up hitting other things than the roof. And that's rather frustrating. So what I like to do is I like to bring it into this aerial view set. And then I'll go into the layer display options and correct it even some more. What I'll do is I'll select all of it. So I'm selecting every layer in the plan. And I'm going to turn the display off. And then, selecting over here into the list, I'm going to hit W for walls, and I'm going to turn on walls normal and walls railing, and I'm going to lock them. So they'll show up in the plan, but I won't be able to select them. Same with the windows. Turn it on, lock them. Go to D for doors, turn it on, lock them. And go to R for roofs. Come down here to roof planes, turn it on. And then I'm going to change some colors. Like instead of green, I'm going to go with blue. Instead of 25, I'm going to go with 65. And with dash line, I'm going to use a solid line. Click OK. And now the plan's much easier to manipulate and play with. And notice I can only select the roof or the boundary of the house, which is no big deal because I'll hardly ever do that. Then let's take a close look. Well, notice that this roof particular, this front roof here that he's drawn is a little crooked on the front side. That's the first thing to fix. Because in Chief Architect, when things are crooked or not exactly straight, it usually gives you a warning sign or a little um, a roof plane that might be shooting off into the middle of nowhere. So if the roofs are doing something funny, that means Chief is trying to warn you that there's a problem with the plan. So I'm going to select the front of the roof, and I want it to be parallel. So I'm going to say parallel. Make parallel to the back part of the roof here. So it's nice and straight. And then I'm going to pull this down. Hit number two to connect, which is this tool right here, the Join Roof Plane Tools, and connect it to the back. And take a quick look. So I fixed the front edge of this roof all the way across so it's nice and straight. And then I went up top and made sure it connected at the top. And if you're using X5, which is great as another little warning, is it gives you the little roof cap and attaches it nicely if it's attached correctly. If it's not attached correctly, uh, it won't give you the roof cap. So as soon as you attach it correctly, it appears the roof cap. So that's another little warning thing they can do for you. Okay, 
So let's close that up. I'm going to go down here and we're going to take a look. Now I notice he has a roof plane here and then the main roof plane here. So basically he's created this little roof piece right here, which you don't need. You could use this roof just like in real life and bend it on over to this corner. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this and bend it on over to this corner. So we don't need this piece at all. So with that piece selected, I'm just going to delete it. And then clicking on this, I'm going to hit 3 to cut and cut it right about there. And then I'm going to take this edge and say conjoin with that edge. There we go. And then I'm going to pull this guy up to here and pull this roof plane. Whoop, I accidentally opened it. Pull this one right up to here. So that by, blah, 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 by doing that, it kind of finished off the corner. Now the only thing that's left is getting the wall up there. Also notice too that these two corners don't line up exactly. So if I select on this wall, it tells me that the ridge top is this number and the fascia top is 96 and 9 16 Well, I'm going to lock the pitch at 8 and I'm going to round this number to make it easy for the video to 96. That way I know all my fascia tops should be 96. So now that's 96. I need to make this 96. So I double click it or open it up, lock the 8 pitch, and start it at 96. And do the same over here. Grab this one, double click it, lock it at 8 pitch, 96. And then simply just reconnect. Pull this one back, hit 2 to connect, click it to that side. Pull that one back, hit 2 to connect, click it to that side. There we go. Now we have a nice, smoother, cleaner look going right on around the corner. And notice if I go to my low color, which is here, I could see the ridge caps working just nicely. Okay, go back to high color. The next thing I want to do is take this attic wall and make sure it comes all the way over here. So just drag it on over. And it will cut around the roof because the roof is beyond the wall. See how the roof is further out than the wall? So when you manipulate attic walls, they should cut automatically underneath a wall, which in this case it did came out perfect. Okay, now let's work on these gable ends. Remember we want it to look just like this. So we're going to move over here to our gable ends and we're going to make sure that these line up exactly where this lines up. So again that 96 inches works with our gable. Okay, so I'm going to double click this one starting, lock it with 8 and go into 96. Same here, double click this, lock it at 8 and go to 96. Okay. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to hit 3 and I'm going to cut it here, 3 and I'm going to cut it here. Now I've cut the big roof twice, here and here, and cut it one more time right in the middle, thereby giving me a triangle cutout for these small pieces to fit. So I'm going to select this edge, hit 2 and connect to there. I'm going to pull this back because I don't really need it all the way. Then take this, hit 2 and connect it to there. Then take this edge, connect it to this edge. And there we go. Now let's take a look. We can see our model starting to come together nicely. It's connecting right where it should, just like on the other plan. If we zoom in here, these connect nice and flush, right where they're supposed to. Okay. So the only thing left now is to deal with this roof plane and this roof plane. We want this roof plane to come up and match the new gable and then come back down. So let's do that next. So going down here, here's the roof plane he's already got. Now I noticed it was a little high, so I'm going to bring it back just a bit and maybe bring it over just a bit. Uh, okay, now using this roof plane, I'm going to need to cut it so I can attach it to this. So I'm going to hit 3 on my keyboard and cut it. I'm going to drag it on over to here. This one, I know it's going to end here, or that's where I'd like it for it to end, and then line up with this one here. Uh, looks like it needs to go back a little actually, so I'm going to go back a little and line these two back up here. Because see this roof here is this roof here. And just like in real life, you want to build this roof up to here and then stop it. So you can build an attic wall or frame an attic wall above it. So there we go. So I'm going to attach this to that and I'm going to bring this guy down to here. Now I don't know how it looks in 3D, so I'm just going to take a look. But it's getting close. It needs to be lower. This needs to be higher. Could be one or the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, move it on back a bit, and take this edge and hit 2 to conjoin with that edge. And that's where it's kind of conjoining for me. So mm, it's okay. I mean, I could pull this back, make it a little wider. 
I mean, it doesn't look like that in the picture. It's not as big, but since we don't have any dimensions to go off exactly, it is kind of up to us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this a bit. I'm going to keep the 8 pitch. Uh, instead of 130, let's go 120. And by that, I'm going to lower this. Uh, hit 2 to connect to that. There we go. <clears throat> that seems about right. And I'm going to just connect it there to there. And there we go. Now again, I'm going to have to cut this roof back in order to build this attic wall. So let's do that next. So I'm going to leave this picture up here so we can see kind of what we're doing in the 3D. So uh, first things first, I need to cut this roof back. So I'm going to take this roof plane and hit 2 and cut it to that one. And then I'm going to cut it around here. Cut it here, there, and pull this guy straight. And it looks like I might need to pull him over some more now. So I'm going to cut him about here, pull that out, and pull this up to here. Great. Then I'm going to take this edge and hit 2 and connect to that edge. And so you see what I'm doing there. I cut around this hole to here. Now I also have this one to contend with too. I need to cut this. So I'll hit 3, cut it here, and pull that back to here. Great. Now what we've done is we've cut around and made the hole ready for the attic space there. And then all we need to do is add the attic wall. Now, when working with attic walls, sometimes they line up over a wall. See, if I just use a regular wall and start drawing an attic wall, it'll be a regular wall and it will interfere with the walls below. So what I'd like to do is a little trick is I will select all the roofs by clicking the roof plane, drag and select all the roof planes, and I'm going to move them up one level. Display one level above. Click that. And notice all the roof planes are gone on the plan. But if I go to level two, which uh, it's hard to see because I'm here. So I'm going to go to the attic floor, click OK. So again, I didn't think it's show. And there's, there's the first floor. If I click on this, I can click on attic floor. It keeps going out of my window screen, sorry for that. And go down here and go into my roof tools, or my wall tools, excuse me, and I'm going to draw a wall. And it says, hey, this wall layers is locked. Do you want to unlock it? And I go, yes. And then it gives me a little error message. Hey, do you know you're drawing on an attic floor? Yeah, yeah, whatever. And just draw it up. And there it is. And now I need to select the wall. So I can either select the wall in this view, or I can select the wall in the 3D view. Either way, open it up and change it to an attic wall. Click OK. Remember I was saying before how it will bend the walls around a roof as long as it's underneath the roof. And so be it. There it did. Now it's not showing up on this side because remember we still have it turned off. So I'm going to go down here to Walls, Attic, turn them on so I can see attic walls at least. And I can readjust this as needed. Maybe I want to readjust it a little bit in here. Maybe I want to take, uh, I could take this and I could adjust it up to the wall a little bit. And this one too just so it goes nice and flush with the inside of the attic wall there. See? There we go. And just like in real life, how you would build it is how you would build it with Chief. And so that's basically the steps to managing this plan. And again, if, if I needed to, let's go back to the attic wall, and let's do the roof trick again. I'm going to shift select all the roofs, and I'm going to bring it back down to level 1 go down to level one and let's go back to the default view the original view the member we opened it up with so there's the plan all ready and done so the roofs all fixed the attic walls are up there uh, and the floors back to normal the plans back to normal matches the picture you just need to uh, finish off the porch and that's it so I hope you guys learned something about working with roofs here at chief tutor.com thanks for joining talk to you guys later